I do better than I did last time? Yes, much better. Now, I've got to open your sheet and, and read my own rules because I don't have them memorized. So, gear. Uh, shotgun. Okay, let's see. They make a, dex, a standard dex check. Uh, failure is worth two shock. You did not fail. You rolled a 15. Let me get over here so that I can... Okay, so that's a standard success. A standard or good result allows for a standard two-hit roll with uh, with bonus to be made with plus one bonus dice damage. So, what is the bonus, though? Okay, oh, I see. Plus two. So roll your, uh, roll your Remington uh, with a bonus of two. Um, that's a uh, point blank range, I guess. If yep. Two. Point blank. Get you a plus two. Eleven. Okay. Well, that's thirteen shock. But uh, wait a minute. Thirteen. Twelve. Oh, eleven. Ten. Thirteen nine. shock. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Two shock. It's a damage of thirteen versus a nine toughness. But you get one bonus dice. Please roll your bonus dice. And it's on your card. Yeah, hold on. I'm looking for it here. BD, far right side. There you go. Okay, so that's going to be even more. Wait a minute. No, you rolled a standard bonus dice. You didn't roll the BD that's on your card in the chat. Look at look at your card. Oh, 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 sorry. But you've got a plus four. We're going to deal with that. So that'll make it 17 damage uh, versus nine toughness. That's an eight. Yeah, he's done. He's done, done, Dunsky. Okay. But it's not enough for an intimidation roll, so guys, carry on. Uh, well, the intimidation roll is actually with uh, uh, something special that goes with Chris's ability. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Who deals more than 20 damage? No, you didn't deal more. Okay, 17. Three more points. Ooh. You could get that three more points. Actually, it's an additional bonus dice in, in, in this one. So you may get that three additional points, but you would have to trade a card with Artorius if he was agreeable to that. Uh, what card does Artorius have? Coup de Gras. Coup de Gras. Huh? Or Coupe de Grace, as some people like to say it. Cup of Gracie. <laughs> there you go. Um, Coup de Gras. Does... Uh... And on want any of the cards I have. Backup plan. Uh, willpower. No, um, you, you, you don't have backup plan in there. It's in oh, your pool. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, willpower, seize initiative, or glory. Uh, I don't know how to see your cards, Aunt Jen. Uh, you uh, should be able to pop open her sheet like you pop open your own. Uh, through the through the actors tab. Yeah, and then I click the open hand button, and it doesn't pull up the card pop up. Willpower is plus three to charisma, mind, or spirit. Um, seize initiative is the card that we have to keep an eye on. If there's something that uh, yeah. favors us, we want to keep trying to get it. We want to get it back for another round. And in this case, we definitely want to try to get this one back because the villains are stymied. Mm -hmm. um, we're two points down so and we go first so uh, um, I, I would recommend trading for this season initiative as long as we uh, get this card back and then there's a glory which you can play after a die roll of 60 plus to refill everybody's uh, refill all the ords in a zone with possibility energy and all player characters immediately receive one possibility and uh, draw destiny Okay. Now, let me run over something real quick um, for those who have forgotten, because I forgot until just a minute ago. Uh, in the upper right portion of your screen, you've got all of those icons. You should see a pair of cross swords, and when you take your mouse over it, it should say Combat Encounters. Now, if you right-click mm -hmm. that, it'll take you to the Combat Encounters, but it'll replace your, uh, your chat window or whatever tab you're on. If you right-click that combat encounters icon it will detach the combat tracker so that you can see what's going on now I told you that to tell you this 
your pool cards are listed on the combat tracker. Oh, and if you just hover over them, you can see what they are. That's right. Okay. I, I completely brain farted that until just now. So I would forgot that too. That's why I was reading them off. And you could have just like looked yourself. Can you see them? Yeah, I see now. Okay. Is there anyone you want? What uh, what what's in Anton's pool? Because I don't see any listed. Uh, uh, Anton doesn't... doesn't have his own cards. Correct. They're all my cards, so they'd all be under Rios's character sheet. Unfortunately, Rios does not get to add to her pool if Anden does a successful approved action. <clears throat> That's oh. a downside. So. Yeah. Uh, would you want to swap something out for your willpower card, maybe? Um, why are you two no. swapping something out? You said uh, I needed to swap with Andon, but Andon doesn't have cards. No. Did you mean Artorius? Artorius, Artorius has has the coup de gras. If right. you, if so, you uh, if you want to add a bonus you die, you know. I do. Is there anything you want to play a uh, trade for a? That coup de gras? Uh, I'll trade willpower. Sure thing. Uh, let me go to it and I'm going to hand it to you. Do you all remember how to do the trading on that? Yes. I'm on yes. Okay. Castillo. I need Anturia. Arturius. Pass. There you go. Okay. And where'd the coup de gras go? Did uh, you pass it to Peaches or did you pass, us, pat, uh, pass it to uh, anyone? He didn't pass it, it to anyone. <laughs> it should have no, passed. To whom did were you trying to... Did I choose the wrong one? Yes, you sent it to CD Ginger. CD is in a different what? game. Uh -oh. Completely different game. Okay, hang on just a minute. My bad. So <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, Artorius, right. I'll get. Oh, I've got to click that open. Thank you. And then hang on just a minute. Uh, now it deselects it from the pool when it's when it's moved over. Now let me get Stormy Nights CD. Okay, and that's a play. Show to all players. Pass two. Uh, hello, Artorius. There we go. Pass. Okay. No, it still shows up as being checked for the pool. So you're good to go. Now. Ha. Huh. So, Peaches, do you want to go ahead and use that? Yes. Okay. Passes to Coup de Gras to Penny Gonzalez. Okay. Play. All right, you play that. Uh, go ahead and roll an additional bonus die on the Fire Combat Attack card above. Okay, sorry. Let me do the bonus die. There we go. Okay, nice. That's very yeah. nice. So that only says one wound and two shock. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 is the actual amount. Uh... Minus nine, uh, and you're hitting. You're hitting who again? This guy? Uh, no, I was hitting the stormtrooper. That was. Wait a minute. Hold on. Not the one that took cover. Where did he go? Did, oh, did you he's dead. It's worse yeah. than that. He's dead, Jim. Uh, yeah, you only got two shock on him before, uh, and with the bonus that you had from. Your uh, uh, your your bonus die roll from before uh, that was seventeen. Okay, minus nine, eight. Okay, so that was. Wait a minute. So why did we have you do the coup de gras? Get that twenty points of damage. Oh, to get the twenty points of damage. So now, oh, okay. Now how does that work again? Let me get this back out. Okay. Any character who deals more than 20 damage may make a free Intimidate test against everyone who saw the attack. 
Okay, this guy is turned around facing away from you. This guy is turned around facing away from you. Uh, this guy he's, right here. So. This guy, what about these guys? Um, probably because this guy. This guy's kind of facing away, but he's he started looking towards the truck because of the weapons fire from last round. So let's see. I'll give you three guys, but it's a, it's a free test. And not this one? No, look at where his arrow is. Oh, he's flying away. And this guy, I, I'm going to say that this guy was probably turned around pretty nicely looking at what was going on because his friends over here were getting shot. So let's give you a total of up to four. Now it's a free intimidate test. And let's see. Intimidate test against everyone who saw the attack. They're already stymied. Um... So let's see. How would that work? Do I just roll once and then you just apply the number to all of them? Okay. No, you don't roll at all. You've already rolled. But it doesn't oh. what it doesn't cost you is a multi target or multi action penalty. Okay? Because the target was out here and you you squiffed him pretty bad. So this guy, this guy this guy and this guy okay all saw what happened this guy is too far or too close to the bed of the truck and those are some high vehicles so right. your total let's see that was okay i got i really got to figure this out okay if i get a free intimidation roll don't 16. i roll intimidation and you just apply it to all of them um okay you've got a choice i'm gonna give you a choice okay uh what? each of these guys uh they do not have willpower but it would be versus a spirit of eight which would give you a, a bonus over them of 12 okay which would be a better than outstanding success okay oh. Yeah, then. So, you can either use that and tell me what you want these guys to do. Or, you can attempt to roll it to get better. And I'll, uh, I'll even give you a bonus. Uh, just a small bonus. Probably a plus two, maybe a plus four. Oh, no. I know exactly what I want these guys to do. I okay. want these guys to, like, flee into the jungle as if their asses were on fire. Okay. So, then. They're dropping their guns. They're in a panic. They're just like fleeing. Okay. So they're basically just going to keep running. Okay. Yes. Well, they're, they are, I mean, like, um, they are, are going to hide behind the nearest tree and uh, wish they were wearing their brown pants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh,. This is a panic run, so they don't they don't get any their stymie comes into play. Okay. So that's what happens to those guys. Uh and let's see. They, they they they're lucky well, they, they won't even remember what direction they ran in. So they'll they'll probably be lost in the jungle for a while. Well, this guy over here might get stopped by his buddies. <laughs> and they might turn him around. <laughs> but okay. it's going to take one heck of a willpower test. Uh, yeah, they might have to tackle him, though. And they'll be grappling with him in a panic. Mm -hmm. In a flat-out dead panic run. Okay. He's not going to want to be stopped. That deals with the rest of them. Okay. So that is Peaches. Uh, nicely done. You get a card. Yay. Yay. Okay. So let's see. That's Peaches. All right. Who... Do I have to go draw one? Oh, you go ahead and go draw one destiny card, please. Okay. Artorius, since you're kind of on on the outside like Peaches is, I'm going to deal with you next. So, okay. here's the deal. You have a letter yeah. B up here. What's that, Peaches? Uh, not me. Oh, well, somebody said something that sounded just like you. 
So yeah, that would be my sister. No, hi. Peter, <laughs> Paul, John, Ringo, Mary. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hi, Peter, Paul, John, Mary, Ringo. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so, Artorius, we're going to kind of deal with you next. Um, hey. The uh, letter B that you've got here for the second part of your, your DSR is to make old boy unconscious. So, the idea is to get him more or less out of the way. Okay. Okay. Um how you're going to do that uh, is pick a skill that you want to use. You could here. Let me let me pop you open here. Let's see. You've got athletics. Uh, you you could just use unarmed combat. It's going to be better that's, than your athletics. I mean that's that's what I was thinking. I'd have to use unarmed combat. Okay. So then we're going to treat it like it's a grapple. Okay. Uh, okay, grappling. You're making an opposed strength test. Oh, or I'm, I'm sorry. You're, let's see, unarmed combat test. Okay, you're using an unarmed combat test against him. And his unarmed combat. Let me close this. Target him. Well, he's, you've already got him targeted. So go ahead and roll your unarmed combat. Wait, the target is unarmed combat? Yeah, the target is also going to be his unarmed combat. Okay, I want to make sure. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that'll work. It could have done that earlier. You you, <laughs> you managed to get around the eunuch and do more or less a headlock. Uh, and he goes out. Okay, and that's letter B. That's the whole thing right there. Uh, let's see. Unconscious. There he is. Okay, are you going to put it on there? There we go. Okay, so he's unconscious, and I'm going to have to zoom in this next round to to, to make sure about everything. Okay, so that's Artorius. Chris, I'm going to have you go next uh, against this guy. Now, understand this. You're talking about lifting probably a four to 500-pound machine. Plus 60 pounds of armor, 60 or 70 pounds of armor, plus the guy inside of it with your telekinesis. I'm just trying to lift him, not the whole machine. Okay. Um, it's still going to be a penalty of two because he has magnetic uh, boots. The whole thing about telekinesis is concentration. I can... I, I assume I can still keep my roll. Oh, okay. Uh, which roll are we talking about? Uh, the whole action total is 25. I, I still have concentration. I haven't broken it yet. You know, there's a simple way to, to manage this. But, there, there really is. You switch targets. Yeah. Yeah. You can't maintain the same power ability against two different targets. You've got to roll separate targets. I will... I will willingly like do a roll to like see if I can switch well, it over, but I want like the strength to be the same. That's all I want. Phew, like, you can boy. do a resistance against it, or I could do a check to see if I can successfully switch it over onto him. Okay, let's do this. You have willpower, right? Uh, let me check. Yes. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to roll a willpower. And I'm going to give you a bonus of plus four. Okay. And then I'm going to roll a willpower from the samurai. If the samurai outdoes what you roll, your concentration is broken. Because you're switching targets. Okay. It, it just doesn't even make sense to me. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Go ahead and make your roll. And I'll make mine. Uh... What is your what is your willpower value? Oh, it, naturally it's thirteen. Thirteen. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap! Um, your holy your, smokes. Your concentration is broken. 
Uh, like okay. most definitely. Okay, but I and I rolled against your your thirteen. You see the modifier. Yes. Uh, yes. Why does that say minus yeah. one? That's supposed to say plus one. Huh. Uh, but uh, uh, see, that doesn't matter with that kind of test. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, your concentration I is broken on that one, but you can still. Wait, why do I have a? Oh, wait, no, that's because of what I rolled. Never mind. Yeah, uh, a nine gets you a minus one, and I and you've got your plus four in there. This modifier should have shown as a plus one, not a minus one. So that action total should actually have been lower, I think. Hold on. Skill value, 22, 33, or I'm sorry, 23, <laughs> 22. No, no, that's the right modifier. And he stymied. So that actually gave him, that. that that's where it came from. Uh. Okay, so it should only be a 21 versus a 12. Still, that's, that's significant. That's nine above. Um... And you are talking about somebody who knows the mystical arts. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, crap. I... It's 920. Holy moly. It is? It's 922. My time. Uh, center, central time. Good lands. Yeah. I was having such a good time, too. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so here's what I'm going to do. You still have a simple action. Your concentration is broken, but that's not going to take uh, that's not going to take an action. You can still attempt to reestablish against the samurai a telekinesis if you want. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a penalty because he's got magnetic boots, and he's also just broken my concentration and zone of resistance. I, yeah, effectively. So. Instead, let's go fire. Okay. So your so telekinesis gets broken. Your your left arm kind of flings out of the way, and you bring out your right arm. And <laughs> <laughs> so give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, did you want to face him by chance? Uh, hold on just a second. Okay. No, he, he, corner or head on like that is is fine. Either way. Yeah. And roll. Oh, I wish that oh. would have stayed on the twenty. <laughs> okay, so your your attack missed. Uh, you rolled a two, so you could still throw something at it if you want. Uh, if you have anything in your pool, let's see. Uh, you've got master plan and second chance. Yeah, let's do that. So I just roll again, yeah. Well, if you yeah, if you spend your second chance card, you can just roll all over again. Okay, um, that's only gonna do one shock. Uh, his lowest armor. I I think it's just straight armor all over. Let's see. Uh, to do to do samurai armor, he's got a plus four in its full body. So that that's where his damage comes in. He's only he's only going to take one shock. Okay, Paul, why'd you do that? Okay. Okay, I'm now just oh. gonna back myself into this tent here and okay. try to help the tourists. Okay. Um. So that's you. Okay, Rios and Anden. Um. So, Rios, it's going to take the round to pretty much light this stick. You'll, it's kind of an automatic thing, but it takes a little bit to light it. Because it's been an Andon sweaty boot for the last how many years? Okay. <laughs> um, but what do you want to do with Andon? Did you still want to try and have him shoot this guy? Yeah, probably. Okay. Looks like I've still got him targeted, don't I? Yes, it does. All right. Shall I have Anton fire a shot then? Sure. Sure. You've got the Schmeiser, so don't forget, you can do a short burst. All right. Short burst. Understood. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, that rolled a two. I don't believe that. 
Um, let's see, but it is a two, so if you want, you can still throw a possibility at it for him or play one of your cards. Let's see, do you have, you've got Second Wind and Inspire. I forgot what Inspire does. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a good card. That might be helpful. Yeah, especially for one with my level of charisma, Hey. Eh? Hey. So, but uh, I think I will spend a possibility on Andon's behalf. Okay, do you want to decrease it or do you want me to? Would you please? Certainly. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and hit his attack. Uh, just click the possibility on the chat card. All right. Okay, now it's a minimum of 10. So, okay, so that yeah. guy's going to take two shock. Apparently, he got out of the way fast enough. Um, to dodge a bullet. <laughs> he dodged a bullet. Now, let me make sure that I put that two on him. Okay, so that's going to be four. So he's already taken four shock. Um, so that's Rios and Andon. Now... Eloth is unconscious. Okay, so he is... He is unconscious and incapacitated. Captain Achmedi. We're going to try and wake him up. Uh, stats. It's going to be a spirit thing. Um, I'm going to make it hard this round. No multi-action penalty, though. Oh, two. Yeah, he's he's still out. He is unconscious. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think we can do that. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, Chris. Yes. Take a look at the screen, at, at the canvas for Foundry. What have I done already? Uh, meaning what you've changed? No, like no, no. Those no, dead? look at the bottom center. What is normally there? <laughs> oh, game's not paused. <laughs> <laughs> you always call me on that, and you're absolutely right every single time. But still, I thought I'd make a little bit of fun out of it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right. So I'll allow it once. you'll allow it once, huh? Uh, okay. So, all right. So we're back to the game, and uh, let's see. I'm going to start with who did I start with last week? I think I started. You know what, Catherine? What do you remember was going on? Wait a minute. I started with you last week, didn't I? That's right. That's okay. What do you remember was going on last week? Uh, I remember that those of us that were in the vehicle were basically having a, uh, a gun standoff with all of the guards that were trying to chase us down. Mm-hmm. Um, what else did you have going on? It's in the notes. <laughs> in the chat channel. As in, um, the fuse is lit. <laughs> Aha. Aha. Yes. Yeah. That's Finally, kind of we shall put to use the one stick of dynamite. <laughs> uh, we will, um, but you won't be able to actually, if, if you really do want to, well, your turns have passed for this round, for round four. There's a few things that have to be taken care of, but uh, is, is that all that you remember? That's all that I remember, sorry. Uh, no, no, There's. Uh, don't apologize, because that's pretty much all that there was. I was just trying to see if I remembered everything. Um, well, I was cheating. Come on. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Okay, I'm going to kind of mix <laughs> it up. Chris, what do you remember? So, I tried and failed to knock off the Golden Samurai with telekinesis. Mm-hmm. Uh, then again, trying to just pull him off, because mm -hmm. when I tried to knock him off, I just threw Captain Captain a, a Shetty into the samurai, mm -hmm. which was 
hilarious. Like <laughs> the whole high arc. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I also didn't hit with pyrokinesis, or I hit and didn't do damage. Uh, I forget. <coughs> uh, yeah, I hit. I get and only did one shock. Yeah. So. Yep, that's true. Uh, not much in terms of damage, and then I just like, yeah, that samurai is not going anywhere, anywhere fast at the very least with with what I can do at the moment. So I just quietly, well, probably not so quietly, <laughs> entered the <laughs> tent. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to kind of address that in a few minutes. If you're looking at the canvas at all, you'll notice that I have yeah. some notes there. Um, and, and, and we're going to deal with that. But I'm going to have, uh, it, since it's the villain's turn, uh, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and break that out right now, the uh, combat tracker. Um, and I'll, I'll just basically go one at a time to determine, uh, you know, what's going on with all of these. See, I think the first one, oh, the first one is about you. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, well, actually, we've got to finish with, with uh, descriptions and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll do that in a minute. Um, so you went to slip into the tent. You notice that the, the guard is attempting to come up uh, kind of behind you, but is hesitant because he doesn't know what the gold samurai is going to do. Um, so that was Rios, Chris, uh, Penny. What do you remember? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I used the current card to uh, make one of those intimidation rolls. Mm -hmm. And and since some, some of the, um, what is it, the, the shock troopers running off into the woods in terror? Yes. Um, because they were approaching the truck and they were going to fire at Andon and Rios, I mm -hmm. think. Um, so, uh, I was, I wish you get them. Um, now I'm gonna, uh, I would like to, uh, provide covering fire for them, but I don't want to, uh, actually accidentally hit them in the back. Right. So I'm just trying, to, yeah, so I'm just trying to keep an eye out. Um, let's see, there's a shock trooper over here behind the other truck. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've already acted this, this round. Yeah, I've already, I, I thought so. I, I, I guess I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Um, this guy's. Uh, I'm just going to make sure this guy keeps under cover. Uh, if I'm and not mistaken, that up. guy is... Yep, that guy is running away. The, this one? Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, see. And, and uh, I, st I don't know what these samurai are up to. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the enemy of my enemy? They don't know we have the other five plates in the truck beside me. Uh, four. You've four. only got don't, four don't plates. Know yeah. Yeah. There's... And and Chris is trying to and uh is trying to obtain the other one, isn't he? And yep. Artorius. Him and Artorius, yep. You guys? yep. Yeah. Oh. Um I'm doing my best. Let let's hope that uh, you guys get it instead of the samurai or the shock troopers. So Yep. Okay. It's gotta be a fine ruckus. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, a couple of notes. Uh, all of these uh, shock troopers, all of these bad guys, um, only became stymied this round. That stymie lasts until the end of their turn, of their turn next round. Okay. Uh, also, let's not forget there are still two cards out here. Uh, survival of the fittest. Uh, oh, I'm not. In, I'm not on the right spot. Let's go back to survival of the fittest. Okay, there we go. Um, and uh, I'm trying to manage OBS Studio, and there are a couple of things that have not gone right. So there's a, a new update that came out, and a couple of things are, are not quite right. But we're recording vi uh, visually and uh, 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 mm -hmm, with audio. So <laughs> survival of the fittest. All allies ignore wound penalties when making skill or attribute totals for the remainder of the battle. Okay, now... What they mean by the remainder of the battle is going to be the remainder of this scene because there there is kind of a continuing fight going on, but it's going to shift focus. Um, your focus need more focus. Uh, let's see. Reality Surge. When played, the characters, axioms, and world laws, and this was Artorius, 
uh, are in effect for him as if he were in a mixed zone for the remainder of the scene. This only affects the character and any items he's using. So, your world laws and axioms uh, are, n are not going to be violated unless you have something that you're using a tool that is above your own world laws and axioms, which means that you can still suffer a one case disconnection, but uh, uh, you won't, you know, you're, you're not in as bad a trouble as you could be. And that also goes right. for the remainder of this scene. Okay. Now to get gotcha, back, gotcha. to get back over here, I'm in the right spot again. Okay. And we are recording. Good. I just wanted to make sure that was right. I can cut all that excess stuff out later. Okay. So, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to do? Uh, Artorius, we still haven't got to you yet for your description of what you remember. I remember chaos and almost getting killed. Mm -hmm. Almost getting killed. And taking down the, you said they're a eunuch, right? The, yeah, the that, one, fighting? that one is a eunuch right there, what you're pointing to. So okay. Right here. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. Uh, yeah, I couldn't remember what he was called, and I was able to subdue him, thankfully. Mm -hmm. That's the also, truth. that's all I remember. It's been a very long weekend. Okay, that's <laughs> all right. All my and everything's been very long. That's all right. Uh, you are on step Ow. B of the dramatic skill resolution that you're dealing with right now, uh, which was the step A uh, was to kind of get around behind the eunuch. Step B was to make the eunuch unconscious, and you succeeded in that. The unconscious uh, uh, sign Ooh. right here uh, tells you that, yep. plus he's uh, stymied. Uh, step C... Uh, you're going to be testing for find or mind, and this will be the next round, uh, but you'll test for find or mind against a standard difficulty number of 10 to locate the tile and abscond with it. And finally, step D allows you a standard test versus, it's probably going to be dexterity since you're not going to be able to hide, hide from anything, uh, by yeah. finding a, a, a direction, any direction, out of the tent to avoid any shock troops. Okay, and and that uh, we're we're gonna see how this next round goes because crap's about to get wild, folks. Okay, I I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let me get over to the shock troop that is coming up behind Chris. Chris, I need you to let's see. The shock troop wants to attack you. But you have an opportunity to kind of fend off that attack. Um, you cannot make an active defense this round, but uh, generate a dexter or a a melee weapons total for me, real quick. Okay. Just roll melee weapons. Yep, just roll melee weapons. Let's see how this goes. It's it's kind of an opposed test. Difficulty what? Um, just, uh, versus standard 10. Okay. Okay. This is an opposed and test, and, and this is a weird way to handle it. Okay. So you're both oh. failures, but... Oh, nope. He actually... He, he's just he, barely more successful. He's I just can... barely more successful. So, um, what I'm going to do is give you a bonus of one... I'm actually going to try and hit you with the short sword. Okay. Oh, I've got to target you first. Okay. So target. Uh, short sword. Uh, he's walking. He is not disfavored. He's not doing, mul doing a multi-action. He's not doing a called shot. Okay. Um, um, Chris semi avoidance. There we go. We'll call it that. Um, I'm going to give you a bonus of one. He's already stymied by two, so let's see how that goes. Okay. Nope. He missed. So that's that guy. He's. He, oh, let me get over here so I can get this out of the way. He's done. Uh, let me make sure he's checked off. This shock trooper. Okay. This shock trooper. Rios, in specific. Oh, let me get back on the right layer. 
is firing very specifically at Anden. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that tag. Um, and let's see, we're going to target Anden. Did it untarget Chris? It did. Good. So wait, he roll a what? No, he rolled a two. So. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't disconnect because there you're in a uh, a uh, we're mixed, in a mixed zone though, right? Right, you're in a mixed zone where the uh, Nile Empire uh, is the primary because they've got a hard point. So he can't that disconnect. Hard... No, no. Never mind, never mind. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he is going to fire the Schmeiser MP40, and this is going to take a little bit. No multi-action, no multi-target penalty. Uh, it's not going to be a called shot. It is going to be a short burst. Um, it is not aimed. Ooh. Um, Anden is concealed. But it's only a penalty of two, so let's roll that. Uh oh, 15. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Okay, so that's uh -oh. one wound. Yeah, that's one wound and two shock against Anden. Do you? Oh, uh, do no. you? <laughs> do you want to do that, or do you want to try and um, soak that? Now, you have two possibilities remaining. Yeah, I think I want to try and soak some of that. Okay, well, here's the deal. Um, in, in, the, in the standard game, uh, they still make you roll a, um, a reality test to see if that damage can be soaked. In my version of the game, possibilities actually still have the power they used to, so the, the wound and two shock is automatically soaked. So in this particular instance, Anden is not standing up. He's kind of down in the bed a little bit, um, mm -hmm. but the and the shock trooper can just barely see him. Okay, um, even with all of his penalties, he he he. Wait a minute, why is that a bonus of two? That should have been a bonus, a a, a modifier. Oh, because it's a die total of fifteen. I keep forgetting that. That is really confusing. I, I've talked to Matt about that a couple of times, but uh, so anyway, the the bonus and the modifiers kind of canceled each other out, uh, and and so what happens is in my game, if you suffer one wound and two shock, that's your standard. So if you spend a possibility, it automatically soaks the one wound and and two shock from that damage. Do you want me to reduce your possibilities, or do you want to? Would you please? Okay. You bet, I got you. Because I got a handy dandy little tool that Erwan uh, put back together for us. Thank you, Erwan. Bless you. Um, and so that's that shock trooper. He's done. And let me check him off. Okay. And then there's that shock trooper. He's just firing at the truck. Oof. Now the truck is. Oh. I gotta get back on the proper layer. The truck is not really. I, I can't target the truck itself. It's gonna be super simple to hit. All he's trying to do is oh, blow out the tire. And uh, you know what? I can choose a different one. We're gonna have it be a standard ten. He's walking. No penalties. No bonuses. Uh, he did not take time to aim, and he stymied. I mean, seriously, if, if, uh, okay, here's how this is going to work. If he rolls at least an eight, he'll hit parts of the truck. If he rolls a ten or better, he is going to hit the tire that's on the back and ruin that. Um, if he rolls... A 15 or better, he has an opportunity to hit uh, Andon, Rios, or Peaches. Okay, just an opportunity. So, let's see. But I'll have to go through and, and figure out who gets hit and how. So, let's see, let's roll that. Okay, no. Uh, so, he, his... 
action total was an eight so he hits the back of the truck um and all of you hear ting 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 um ooh peaches mm -hmm. you see a hole suddenly appear between your feet and then you hear clanking around in the dashboard uh oh what? I can't break the glass with like you know I can't break anything in this iron tin can with like the butt of a rifle but no the bullet you know, but a bullet right can, like rattle you know uh. a bullet is much smaller and travels mm -hmm. much faster mm -hmm. okay uh, and besides the bottoms of these things are notoriously weak the glass mm -hmm. is stronger mm -hmm. than the bottom so let's see what's next. <laughs> okay, gold samurai. Okay, this is gonna take me a minute because I've got to, uh, I've got to oh boy. change the samurai over. Uh, what do you mean, oh boy? <laughs> Just preparing for what could be bad. That's all. Okay, so hang on. Let me uh, appearance and oh. <laughs> okay where's the regular gold samurai there he is select file update token oh well he's kind of large oh my hang, gosh hey hang on a second I, I forgot to scale him down he is one space <laughs> by one space update Since token when did they make samurai that big <laughs> exactly okay oh. old boy samurai here oh he didn't turn oh, oh wrong no. way Old boy samurai here. Uh, I've got to do a multiple roll for him. One is an attack. So let's get him. He is going to do a multi action. Um, and this may take a little bit of work to do. So let's see. He's got his electric katana. Uh, he is mainly aiming at this guy. Uh. Okay, he is considered running because he went to jump off. Well, no. It's either that or the multi-action, not both. Uh, let's see. He's going to he's going to take a multi-action. No. Yeah. Leave that as it is. Uh, no, it's not a burst. No, it's not concealment. Okay. All right, so he is going to hit or attempt to hit. Nope. He missed against this shock trooper right here. Okay. Oh, he sucks. But anyway, he is off his uh, he is off his little skiff now. Uh, so let's see. That's that guy. Now, <sighs> Rios. Oh, Rios. Yeah. Odds or evens? Uh, even. Evens. Okay. Here we go. Okay, odds. Okay, so let me get into this one. You guys are going to love this. Does the truck explode? Yes. The truck explodes. No. Okay. Uh oh. Yes. You're going to love this. Was this uh, thanks to a stick of dynamite? No. No, the stick of dynamite is still in the. Uh... Oh, what am I. What's going it's on still here? Wait, really? In her hands? The, the, well, the stick of dynamite is still in Rio's hands, yes. Okay, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. so let's see. That's going to be a medium explosion. I need to look up. Who's trying to get a hold of me here? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, I need to pop open. <laughs> Where is it? Blast radius. It's going to be a large blast radius. So that's uh, seven spaces plus three. So, oh. yeah, half damage. And, and then... All right. <laughs> This is gonna hurt. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to be dodging or like taking cover in my own truck. Yeah, <laughs> that's blowing up. Yeah. No, you, no, no, no. Your truck's not blowing up. No, I, I'm, I know it's not, but um, I'm using it as shelter from the. Uh, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness gracious. laughs> okay. This is going to be all kinds of fun. Uh, 12 o'clock is at the top of the screen, so I'm going to work my way around. Now, the inner circle is the large blast radius. The outer circle is the secondary blast radius. Okay? Uh, secondary blast radius yeah. is half damage. 